Okay, we have a question from the SAT subject test level two on geometry towards the end of the exam. Fairly difficult question. In figure eight, if a wooden right circular cylinder with radius two meters and height six meters has a cylindrical hole of diameter two meters drilled through the center as shown, what is the entire surface area, including top and bottom faces in square meters of the resulting figure? A, 38 pi, B, 40 pi, C, 42 pi, D, 44 pi, or E, 46 pi. So, our question, we read through it, and it's asking us about surface area. It wants to know the surface area of this cylinder with the hole in the middle. So the surface area is the, what the cylinder would touch if you were to drop it into water. If you were to paint the cylinder, it's the things that will be covered by paint. It's, it's different to the volume. So we need to look at what shapes make up this cylinder. Well, if you look at the top, there's a large circle with a small circle inside it. And if you look at the bottom, you've got another large circle with a small circle inside it, the same shape and size. So you've got two of these large circles with small circles inside it. You've then got the outside of the cylinder, and because you've got the hole in the middle, you've also got the inside of the cylinder. So there's that surface that would get painted in the middle there, and there's the surface that get painted on the outside there. Now a circle, we need to know the formula for a circle. It has the formula pi r squared to give us the area. We're going to subtract this little circle from the middle, so we need slightly different names for our two radii. So let's call our larger radius r0, and we can call our smaller radius r1 so that we can distinguish them. So we've got pi r0 squared, which is the area of the larger circle, minus pi r1 squared, which is the area of the smaller circle. That difference will give us the amount being painted. And of course, we have to times it by 2 because there's a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom. So if we just summarize that there, our formula for the area of those two circles will be 2 pi, the common factor, times by r0 squared minus r1 squared. Now, if we consider this cylinder around the outside, a cylinder, if you imagine what gets painted around the outside, is effectively a rectangle. It's a rolled up rectangle. So we just need to think, what are the dimensions of this rectangle? Now, the, the length across the top is the same length as the circumference of the circle. We need to know the formula for the circumference of the circle. It's a basic maths formula, 2 pi r. We need to know that by, by heart. So R here is our R1, it's our larger, sorry, our R0, our larger radius. So our length across the top there is 2 pi R0, and our, our width is actually the height of the, of the cylinder. So we've got a, a rectangle with 2 pi R, O length, and H width. So the area is 2 pi R0 times by H. Now the process for this smaller cylinder where the cylindrical hole is inside is very, very similar. Uh, we've got the circumference of the circle at the top, which is 2 pi times by r1, and it's exactly the same height, the height of the cylinder. So we've got 2 pi r1h. And that's all of the formulae for the areas that we'll need to add together to give us the total surface area of this solid. Now we see all of our formulae have the common factor 2 pi, so what we could do, we could just write out our formula as one clean, simple formula, 2 pi times by if you look at the circles there, times by r0 squared minus r1 squared, then from our big rectangle plus r0h, then from our small rectangle plus r1h. So we've got 2 pi times by this sum of, of different uh, areas. So now it's a case of finding out what these values are. We're told the cylinder has a radius of 2 meters, so our large radius, our r0, is 2. So we could drop 2 in there, and I think it comes in twice. Now, we're told that the height next is 6 metres, so our h is 6. So again, h features twice. We could put this into our formula in the two places it appears. And all we're left with is our r1, our smaller radius. This is the, the radius of the hole that's drilled through the middle of the cylinder. So if we read a bit further, we're told the hole has a diameter of 2 metres. Now a diameter of 2 metres, that's the length from one extreme of the circle to the other extreme. That's twice the radius, so our radius is 1 metre. All the units are the same, they're all metres, so we have no problem putting them in. We always need to be careful for the units. And we put in R1 for R1 in the two places it's there. 
Once we put all our numbers into the formula, we simply have an arithmetic exercise. You do have a calculator with you in the SAT, so you could use the calculator, but I think with twos and ones and sixes, this is quite simple. Two squared is four, one squared is one, two times six is 12, and one times six is six. And if we add those together, four minus one is three, plus 12 is 15, plus six is 21. So we end up with two pi times by 21, which gives us 42 pi, which is answer C, from our multiple choice answers, so QED.